so the number one question I get when teaching content editors how to use their new Drupal site, especially ones coming from other CMSs, is number one, can I embed an image in the body field? And how do I change the size? Hi, my name is Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training, and I'm in the middle of a bit of a series on all of the things site builders need to do and add to their Drupal site in order to get it ready for content editors specifically. In the first video in the series, I talked about Linkit, Advanced Link, EXT Link, Scheduler, and Node Lock. Those five modules add tremendous flexibility for content editors. Well, today I want to talk about media in the body field. And yeah, I know you're going to say, but Rod, the whole point of Drupal is structured content. We have media fields that are separate. Well, yes, except a lot of these, even enterprise sites, want to be able to embed an image into the body field and have the flexibility to change the size and the shape and, well, you know, whatever else they might want to do. And in most other content management systems, you can accomplish that by clicking on the image and dragging it to change it and floating it left, right, or center. Well, Drupal can do that, but it takes some setup and it takes some planning. So that's what this video is all about. Let's dive in. All right, so there are four steps to make this work. Yeah, I know. There's no module for this. It's actually just creating display modes for media. So there's no module to actually do this. It's a bit of a setup, and yeah, it takes a little bit of time. You need to create new view modes, then update those displays in your media items to use those view modes, then go ahead and create image styles for each of those view modes, and then, of course, update the editor configuration to use those display modes. So let's dive in. It's not complicated, but it does take some time. So I'm just going to give us one illustration of this today. All right. So structure, display modes, view modes, and scroll down to media where you'll see full content and media library. We're going to add three display modes here. One for a thumbnail, one for a medium sized image, and one for a full size or full width image. Click add new view mode. I'm going to begin each view mode name here with the word embed. So it's very clear. Embed, full width, add another one, embed thumbnail, and embed medium. You can of course call these anything you want, but I think it helps content editors to know what you're talking about when you're as specific as possible. So that's step one, the three new view modes for our media that we're going to use inside of the body field. Step two, create the image styles, configuration, media, and image styles. Add an image style, and I'm going to call it the same thing, embed media thumbnail. Now you're going to think, why wouldn't I just use the thumbnail? Well, I want this to be specific for the media item. So add a new effect. And I'm just going to say resize. If I had focal point scale and crop here, I'd probably do that. That's the topic for another video. Click resize and click add. And we'll say 200 by 200. All right, let's add another image style. We'll call this embed full size. And I'm going to resize this. Again, I'd probably use scale and crop for this. I'm just going to resize this to a value of 900. Pretty rarely the width of the content area for a body field is more than that, but it really depends on the site. So use your best judgment. 900 by, I'm going to say 400 just in case. And then let's add one for the medium.
and again, resize to, I'm going to say 400 by 400. All right, I've got my image styles. And again, these can be anything you want. Step three then is to apply the image style to the view mode, structure, media types, image, and manage display. Come down to custom display settings and go ahead and enable the three embed displays that you created earlier and click save. And now we have embed full width, embed medium, and thumbnail. So embed full width, I'm going to click and choose my new image style and click update and save. Embed medium, click, select embed medium, update and save. And then embed thumbnail, click, embed thumbnail, update, and save. All right. The last step here then is to update your WYSIWYG editor to use the various image styles that we created. Configuration, content authoring, text formats, and editors. And I'm just going to update the basic HTML here. Click configure. Now I've already moved the media manager icon here into the active toolbar. If you've not done that, you'll of course need to do that. And when you do that, you'll need to scroll down and click embed media. And then let's update our embed media. View modes, I'm gonna restrict it to image, remote video, and document. Those are the three I typically use. And then I'm gonna say embed full width, embed medium, and embed thumbnail. You can even use default if you want, as long as you choose at least two. Click Save Configuration, and let's head over to our node. Content, there's our test article. And I'm going to throw an image here into the article. And I've got an image called Big Ben here. I'm going to insert it. And then I'm going to edit it. And now you'll see I can align, which was already there caption, but I have my new display modes. So I'm going to say full width, click save, and there it is. Now, because I resized it, it's now out of shape. I should have used scale and crop as we know, but that's not the point. <laughs> if I click edit media and go medium, again, it's out of shape, not the point, and thumbnail, there you go. Now I can even float this to the left. And there we are, a little CSS. We'll fix that right up. This is incredibly important. I can't tell you literally how many times content editors have asked me, well, can we resize the image when we embed it in a body field? And typically, unfortunately, many times the answer has been no because the site builder or the developer that put the site together didn't think to do this step. It's not hard. As you saw, it takes just moments to do, and yet it can create a much better experience for our content editors. Well, thanks for joining me today. My name is Rod Martin. This has been OS Tips from OS Training. We're in the middle of a bit of a series here, so I hope you're enjoying it. Go ahead and give it a like if you would. Subscribe. Hey, leave a comment. We'll make sure to answer them, and we'll see you next time.